Oh. That's so Nigeria don't reach now. All right, guys. I did say I was coming live. Ah, where is everybody? Mm hmm. Hello, everyone. How are you doing? The title of today's message is The Good Side of TB Joshua. We're going to have a conversation today. Oh, yes, we've played the first narrative. And he give people, he do this, he do that, he do that one. Very good. That's the first narrative. I want to ask you a question. Was TB Joshua completely bad? A lot of people are saying, can that man ever have a good side? One second, I'm coming. Hi guys, if you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen, double click the screen, pop my money guns. Today we're going to have this conversation. I know a lot of people are not going to watch because this is a conversation many of you don't want to hear. But whether you want to hear it or not, whether you like it or not, you know your daddy freeze is always going to say it. As the team being, whether you, you are happy with me or not, that's your business. Hello? Somebody say hi. Somebody say hi. If you're watching on TikTok, double click the screen. So let, let's talk about the good side of TB Joshua. Somebody say the devil has a good side. Why are you calling him a devil? You see, I watched, I did, I've not finished watching all the documentary. I watched. A bit of it and what i saw were people's experiences ah he did this to me ah he did this to me hey he did this to us he did this to me he did this to me. first question the problem with experiences is they're very subjective they're not objective they're subjective i didn't have a bad experience with tb joshua as a matter of fact, if I were to rate Nigerian Jews, I rate TB Joshua above everybody else. Because I criticize him like I criticize all your other Jews. I never got anything from him. He never fought me. He never sent people after me. He never blocked my walk. He never did anything against me. I criticized him. Oh, there was a time he was lying down on the mountain praying. I criticized him. He didn't send thugs after me. He didn't fight me. He didn't. Your other Jews, they rendered me jobless. How do you think I started sitting down behind cutting? Because there was no work. <laughs> ah, I wake up in the morning, nothing to do the whole day. I just sit down and start talking. Somebody came and said, Oh, Daddy Freeze, you are jobless. Who made me jobless? Is it not your Jews? Only for me to sit down here. And you see, when God, God is behind you, if I decide to start picking stones, I will pick stones and I will still drive the nicest cars, stay in the nicest hotels. Because God don't say, as long as Nami send you this message, no worry, anything where you do. Because I did not understand how I will sit down in front of camera with, 
I don't even have a proper stand for my phones. I just use old shoe boxes. Okay, one of them is Gucci, one of them is Versace. The rest are all cheap old shoe boxes. I just stack them one on top of the other to get the right height. One day I will show it to you, people will laugh. But this is where the free is sitting down, generating his revenue. Ah. Your pastors, your geos rendered me jobless. They will call me for a, for a job. I will pick up the phone. We will arrange the work, how the work is going to be. Three days later, they will call me. They will say, sorry. I cannot work with them again. That one geo has... You saw the lady, princess. She was live. Princess organized an event. She called me to be her MC. She was live with me the other day. People call princess. They say, if you use Daddy Freeze as your MC, we are not going to attend your event. We thought it was play. Princess decided to continue using me as the MC. You know, some people just get mine. Say, no worry, Daddy Freeze. You are my brother. I will use you. Um, nobody. So, as in the hall was one quarter filled. Someone said, was it that bad? Oh, because I used to always come and smile. Hey, hey, you didn't know what I was going through. I became a civil servant. When your pastor started dealing with me, I became a civil servant. Oh, there was nothing spiritual. They have no spiritual power. I don't, don't tell you before. I don't know any Nigerian geo who gets spiritual power. If they want to frustrate you, they go use government. They go use police. They go block your work. Pray. <clears throat> nothing do me. I was getting fatter and fatter in my house and looking healthy. Nothing was wrong with me. But <clears throat> there was no work for me. <clears throat> so if they came to share their experience about TB Joshua, me too, I want to share my experience with TB Joshua too. I'm not saying what he did was right too. Don't get me wrong. Though. But I'm telling you, it should be my experience with the share. Me, I'll tell you my own experience. If now me, they rate wicked people for this Nigeria, and I'm supposed to list pastor, TB Joshua no go make top 10. TB Joshua will not be on my top 10 list of pastors way wicked for this Nigeria. He not go make top 20. Oh, let's say TB you get called. What do you call an, a church organization that says they should not give Daddy Free's work? Because Daddy Free is dead. To, that time I had not yet started insulting them. Now, question that they ask, and they fight them on top tight, and never even go far inside the doctrine. They don't stop walk for my head. Explain it to me. As in, they blocked my work for three years of my life. I lived like a civil servant. I will go to Cool FM, I will collect salary. My salary then was 266,000 naira a month. And that is what I will manage and feed on. You guys don't understand. Hmm. I was not collecting tight. I was not collecting seed. I used to have a Samsung phone. We don't swell. We the back, they open like this. I they use and preach. One or two people, I remember. <clears throat> I remember then Jiga Collins gathered people, say, ah, let's even help daddy free jiva collins jiva collins was on my life the other day they donated about 400k so that i could pay my uh, uh what they call it wi-fi and do some other things so that the church no good they too heavy on me and that's how i was for three years people like chief fine babe <clears throat> people like chief fine babe people like Evelyn, she's no longer with us. People, not no, she's alive, but she's no longer with the Free Nation. People like Irene. Irene used to send me $100 a month or $300 a month at a point. That time, dollar was not high like this. But that sustained me. I've never said this publicly. Why? Because your Jews decided that it is me they wanted to fight. So it was out of joblessness. Some people say that the place is jobless. Yes, I laugh about it. Yes, because it was, I, was an, I could not MC. I could not do voiceover. As in, they were dropping adverts that had my voice. Forget my face. They were dropping adverts that had my voice. 
Meanwhile, I was criticizing TB Joshua too. TB Joshua people don't do me anything. Then one day, I sat down. I think it was either crossover service 2016 to 2017 or 2015 to 2016. Those one of those two years was not earlier than 2014 because I was not living. I knew this was in 1004 because I know I was watching it on. I had I used to have this box TV when I was staying in 1004. So I knew by two, uh, by 2017 I'd moved here, and by 2014 I was living in the Cool FM house in VI. So this was somewhere between 20. It was a crossover night, and I was flipping channels listening to all the gospel ministers. And it was only T.B. Joshua's message that made sense. Someone said, why did Evelyn leave? We just had quarrels and issues. And it, it, church was coming up. And when church is coming up, you have many ups and downs. Before you go find people where them and you align. You understand? I'm not saying she was. None of them were bad. Though. Not Evelyn, not uh, Irene. They were all great people. But at point at a point we now started clashing ideas, clashing stuff, and uh, people decided to leave. Normal level, and when they left, another set came, and finally we were able to. Before them, there was like three sets. Who, there were the people. Those ones I cannot even mention their name. We'll do church meeting now. How they go take sleep with inside free nation? We want they free you from other church madness. We don't. They get people who want to sleep with themselves inside. Baba. Just try run any church, any kind of church, whether an online, offline, whether a radio church or TV church. But about church, get the, you get one kind of madness with the follow around. So we kept clashing. Eventually, I dissolved the, the board of that church, went to another board. Then the, those ones wanted to start collecting money and using me to make money. Then we dissolved that one again. Then we finally got to a board that was lasted and was a bit more tranquil. But we, it was more of a clash of ideas and ideologies. Then finally, we got to the free nation where we are now. So our job, but that's a story for another day. Don't de don't derail me. Let me finish what I'm saying. Mm. And I don't dry saliva from my mouth. Make I drink small water. You know? But of all of them, I still have a very healthy relationship with Jiga. I love him to bits and pieces. He's my brother. He came to Nigeria. He came to my house. We ate. You know, it's always love. Me and Jiga fight, not, not last one month. We fight, too, but after that, we called each other, we settled, we picked up the pieces, and we started moving. You know? But, but what I'm trying to say is, that period, pastors fight me. Ah, including my own pastor. Let me tell you a personal story, my former pastor. I went to Cool FM. This was at the height of the drama. Baba, not even I know they say area boy self. As in, Baba, I don't know the journey. And the people that were doing this are your beloved, your faves. That's why I have no respect for them. You know what they did? They went to withdraw their as in they wicked go. They are not good. They went to withdraw their jingle from Cool FM. Ah, they said me they played their jingle only on Wazoba, Wazobia FM. Ah, what happened? They say it is tight money they are using to pay for the jingle. So, they don't want it on a station that Daddy Freeze is on. Or Lorne or Bangbo. Say Cool FM no sack me that period. Na the grace of God. Say cool FM. No decide. Say they go wake up one morning. Sack me. Not grace of God. So you are telling me that TB Joshua is bad. Those ones that did that to me. Because of him, what person can they cry for now for television? To me, TB Joshua is an angel compared to these people. If not experience, me, I go tell you my experience. Imagine 
Tinkul FM was the only thing left in my life that I was. It was the only thing. One that one small thing will remain. Because I challenged their belief system. Can't do debate, they run. Come do debate, they run. They come begin, they drag me. I was sitting down at an Baba, you don't know how bad it was. There was a time the only car we had was my Camry. Because Taste Bud's car was still in Portacot, in our house in Portacot. That Camry, son, don't beat and beat and beat and the roof don't fade. One day went to see the kids in school. Yella was, was in, I think in maybe year equivalent of SS1 or SS2 that time. She had to call us aside that. Can't you come with another car that you guys always look so sad when you're going in this small car looking very wretched? As in before taste boards went to bring her car from Abuja. As I say Abuja uh, Potakot. I was sitting at an event. One of the few events that they managed to invite. As in, it got so bad that, forget MC. They don't they invite me to even attend. I even thank God that time, I said they don't invite me to attend. Because which I go, where I go? Now they tell you my own experience. So. Wait till I go, where I go? So it's good as they know they invite me because which thing I won't wear, which cloth I won't wear. So one event, shall we? They manage invite me. I can't sit down on the table with a senior advocate of Nigeria. We now got talking. The guy told me taste boards was there sitting down. Mention the name of the church his wife's attend and mention the agency his wife was working for. They said he told his wife to remove daddy freeze from every that they should remove it from every of their campaign. As they see me so till today, no brand has worked with me since 2017. You never see any brand. The people that patronize me are Nigerians abroad. That have been delivered from the foolishness of Nigeria's religion. My customers are all. That's why you see me every night. I go clear sleep from my eye. Can't attend to the Bongolese, the Abirays, the Chichi Obamas, the Canadian people because now them the money they come from. They told them, as in no agency Samaria them. Now my people be that American. I get American Canadian crowd. And they attend to them every night. Those those people, I because not them they fear afford me, and not them they patronize my services. Left to these people, they I did not walk any other walk. I go go and then Cool FM, Papa, I don't know what I go through. Cool FM, come demote me from the road show. Come move me go seven to nine p.m. I was doing only two hours a day. Four days a week. Me that I was running, my show used to be 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. Five hours of prime time drive time. All of a sudden, they gave me backbencher hour, 7 to 9. I was there on that 7 to 9 for one hour. They come move me, go Wazobia FM. Move me for that late time to the night. I say Wazobia FM. Nigeria Info, 10 to 12 midnight. A whole prime time broadcaster that had trained almost all the broadcasters in that place. I can't turn to who they do. They don't retain me, keep me, they give me salary. I still praise them for it today because if they had sacked me at that time, nobody waiting when they talk today will go to talk. Why do you think I was close to Hush Puppy as a friend? Because Hush Puppy used to chat with me. Nobody wanted to talk to me. 
Hush puppy will say, hey, Baba, you day. Ah, uh, they watch your sermon and they badu you. So I go come say, Hush puppy now, na devil. The angels, all of them, don't turn back to me because I ask them questions. Say, this tithe, who put they sell? Where is they for Bible? This first fruit, please, where is they for Bible? Did Christ ever collect first fruit? Did Christ ever collect tithe? Did he instruct the disciples, our first geos and pastors, to collect tithe or first fruit? If he did, show me in the Bible. Nothing where they no use me do. Nothing where they no use me do. So I sit down here, they look on him, both they cry, saying, Go TB Joshua. Wait till you lost, where you find go TB Joshua. Wait, take wait TB Joshua, take uh, do what he do to you. As far as I was concerned, if I were to rate pastors for Nigeria, way good, TB Joshua go make top five. If my, my I want to write my own experience, my own book. So Nigerian pastors, waiting they do me. Ah, TB Joshua na good. The real devils. Do you know how many of them had to lose their lives because they were trying? I don't want to go into the spiritism of it. Do you know how many of them lost their lives because they were going against me and they were planning to come against me strong and last minute? I don't know what I have to say now. God take them because they were. Oh, I, well, I, if you call me one by one, I'm going to tell you their names one by one. I don't go talk in public. But if you are close enough to me, I will make just so that you know, go be like, say, I talk, I talk, uh, I, 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 I conjure. You know how many of them lost their lives? Don Chris of Isha say, Who you don't help? I don't help you, I don't help your papa because when I don't pass redemption. If to say drip the way that they pass inside person brain, so that it will come out for desert way they at least so that small oases of intelligence go feel enter. And for say me they pass you that drip, but the drip no day. The only hope for you, Don Chris Official, is make real estate people use the vast emptiness inside your head, do project so people go feel live there, or make those people where they do aqua long, all those oxygen tanks, may they pump your head with air so that people where they dive underwater go feel they use your head, take their breath because nothing they inside except vacuum. If they look inside your eye like this, they go see the back of your head, nothing blocking. Ah, ah somebody don't buy me super, uh, stars on Facebook. Oh. Thank you so much. 2,500 stars. That's a lot. I appreciate you, sis. Let me continue my story. They fought me. I always wear believers. I always wear... If you see my hat box, I have a box of like 70 hats. Some I never wear before. Some when I order any too big, so I won't go reduce them. <laughs> but you always see me wear two hats. Buy direct from USA.com and believers. Instead. Inside all my stress, they still supported me. Foreign brand. So, as Daddy Freeze no get work, nobody agree work with Daddy Freeze. Everybody, they laugh at me, say, see, I'm in the year pastor, seeing life, seeing moto, seeing this, seeing that. Now, so I sit down, put cotton for my back one day. The thing where they do for radio, whether they pay me nothing, I begin to do them. They talk. Before you know it, gather, gather, people don't, they gather. Gather, gather, don't turn bondu, I don't, they gather the bondu. So, when people are sharing their experiences, my experience with TB Joshua, if not by experience, so my experience with TB Joshua, no bad. Though. Personal experience. He was the only one that used to preach love. Go and watch TB Joshua. If you remove all these allegations and stories, I'm not saying he was a good person, no. Just remove them. Listen to his message. His message is better than any message from any church in Nigeria. Message for message. Yeah, the better message. Doubt me. Argue on with me. I'm waiting. Agbato Beru. Pastor Toby. Ah, make I make I make I know greet you. Area boy greeting. Uh, that's my brother in the Lord. Pastor Toby. Uh, right there, right there, right there. Pastor Toby. Uh -huh. If I can't can they talk like Agbiru, where I be. Message for message. Listen to TB Joshua. And listen to the rest of them. 
at least the message that he packaged for the outside world was a message of love. And some people who did not know what was going on in the back end, at least they were seeing the giving and they were encouraged to give to the poor. Every message has to have a balance. Every message has to have a balance. Nobody is all good and nobody is all bad. If you tell me today to day to pick TB Joshua or any of your Jews, I will pick TB Joshua as one, I will pick him as number two, I will pick him as one, I will pick him as one, two, three, four, five. Before I begin, they pick them, especially those big, 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 big ones. They know their self. Some of them are worse. It's just that they are more calculated. Because TB Joshua was a bit crude. So maybe his ways were a bit crude. This one's now smile, they go, they smile to they bite you for back. You know, go no sin at them, they bite you. My own pastor, where I attend in church, where I pay tight, I refuse to buy a house or build it, buy a land or build a house for myself until I finish building the house of God. I was paying 20% tight so that the house of God, because I thought the church was the house of God, would be complete. That same pastor, now you want come out work for my hand. You they tell me, say, TB Joshua. TB Joshua and I in jail now. If those pastors go day heaven, TB Joshua go sit down beside God. These your pastors. If they go make heaven, that means say TB Joshua go sit down. TB Joshua and God go, go sit down, they usher them in. If to say they go make heaven. Ah, <laughs> you see, my journey is different from your own. So, waiting I see for road, different from waiting you see for road. Touch not my anointed and do my but uh, uh, prophet no harm. Mm -mm. You know, rich TB Joshua tied, it's only them. When he laughed, when he cried, one of them came out and wrote a stinker. Then God said, One brother. That reply him, drag him. Oh, I'm not supporting the things they said about TB Joshua. Don't get me wrong, bro. but my question always is: Wait till you find go do, go there. That if he has been shouting, uh, pity they here. One day we they talk, one day nine. They say one person say he was partially deaf, so he can't go. Meet pastor. Pastor come pour olive oil inside him here. He can't be completely deaf. Pity they did that day when they, they talk this thing. You know what in pity talk? He say good, say deaf. Me, me way wicked. I can't look pity. I say, ah, pity this thing we talk, no harsh like this. He say, what thing they use the ear do? No be the nonsense in the ear. Wait, carry in here, go make them go pray for him. They take pour anointing oil inside him here. He does not need the ear. He's better off without it. Now I can't think and say, why not true? He said, you don't they shout this thing for how many years now? Here they pain you. You pass doctor, you pass chemist, you pass hospital, you pass ear, nose and throat specialist. It's church, you now find yourself in. They come pour anointing oil for your ear. You come the vex, say, eh, you know, here again. What thing they use the hearing do before? If you did not have ear, you for no go that church. Because now that ear, they take care the poison, whether they pour inside your head. And I keep saying the same thing. What do you what are you looking for up and down? I've said it this year. We are going to pray less. Now my you know your message with that too. If you pray 15 minutes a day, you are reducing it to 7.5. If you pray 30 minutes a day before you are reducing it to 15, your prayer time has to be reduced. Let me tell you something. The problem I have with Nigerian prayer is we talk too much. We are not listening to God, we are just talking. Reduce the prayer time so you can start hearing from God. You talk too much. God is whispering, but you are talking, you are shouting, you are la 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 ba 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 ba.
like children with pedolalia. Shut up. You pray too much. And when God is talking, you can't hear. If you pray five minutes, reduce it to 2.5 minutes a day. And start spending time doing the work of God. There is no equation in scripture that puts prayer in success or heaven. You don't need prayer to make heaven and you don't need prayer to be successful. Let's focus on the things that will make you successful on this earth and the things that will take you to heaven. Let's focus on those ones first. We can catch up with prayer later. We have prayed enough. Every year we pray, 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 pray. Do night service. Church is full from morning to night and we have no progress. The only progress we have is when we run abroad to the country that people that don't pray build. Ezekiel ministry said prayer is good. Why would it not be good? Nobody you take the chop. It's like me saying Instagram live. Somebody saying Instagram live is not good. Nobody, be, nobody be where I take the see my bread and butter be that. Of course, I will defend it. You quote one scripture, then Luke chapter 18. It does not say you will not make heaven if you don't pray. Show me a scripture that says if you don't make heaven, you will not pray. And if you don't pray, you will not make heaven. Show it to me. I want to see it. You will go and read Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25. Do not forsake the garden of the brethren. Paul said they should not forsake it. He did not say those who forsake it will not make heaven. He did not say those who forsake it will not be. He said it's good. I advise you not to forsake it. Nobody telling you not to pray. I'm just saying cut it in half. Cut it in half. Africa has prayed enough. Cut it in half. So you can listen more. When you are praying, you are talking. You are talking so much to the point where Nigerians are directing God. In fact, some of you, God already has the address of your enemy. He has the house address because you don't read out and say, God, oh, Tomorrow morning, you and your area boys, I won't make you go knock this person's house. In house at number 16, Henry the Great Street. Someone said, talk about bad politicians. You have an Instagram account, use it to talk about bad politicians. I have no interest in politics or politicians. By the way, I still talk about them once in a while, but that's not my calling. If you want to talk about bad politicians, go and talk about them. Nigeria is not, Nigeria's problem did not start with bad politicians. It started with a message of wickedness being preached. As a gospel. Nigerians pray. When they are done. They go to Dubai. For holiday. They pray. When they are done. They go and do surgery in India. They pray. When they are done. They run away to Canada. That is run by people who are irreligious. My, my, my message to the church. 2024 was. If you used to pray one minute a day, cut it to 30 seconds. Read Our Father. It's a 20 second prayer. Read it. When you are done with that, get up and go and do some, something else with the remaining half of the time. What do you know about God? You have no knowledge of what you are praying to or who you are praying to. That's the only problem I had with TB Joshua. That's selling of prayer. Because it's what they wanted to buy. When people are sitting at home watching television. No, 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 no. BBC. Please, this TB Joshua that you are angry with, you are making issues about. Can, can I please ask you a question? This religion that he's preaching, where did he get it from? Did he get it from our forefathers through Obatala or Shango or Ifa? Nobody will not carry and come. When the British brought slavery, sorry, when they brought Christianity to Africa, what did they exchange it with? That's the thing. Start that narrative. There's a counter-narrative. Y'all brought this to us. This was not us. This was not us. It's just that when you brought it to us, we took it to the next level. We are good at, when you give Nigerian man masters, you go carry and go do PhD. How did you treat the people you met in our land? Did you treat them with love and kindness and respect? How did you treat them? So all of a sudden now, TB Joshua is the epitome of bad things. But BBC is good. I'm just asking. 
inside oh tb joshua why don't you also interview the people that ah tb joshua helped my family oh, he gave me land oh, that i used to build this you are going after the so you mean tb joshua was all bad nothing good inside whole body ah thank god say man no be god oh. thank god say man no be god because if man are god <laughs> When I go choose the day where sun go shine, when I go choose the day where rain go fall. So, in as much as, in as much as I have my bones to pick with a lot of people, I want you to realize that all religions are manipulative. All religions. All religions are manipulative. There's no religion on earth that is not manipulative. All religions will tell you that if you don't bring this, you will not get this. If you don't bring that, you will not get those. All religions on the face of the earth. There's no religion that is not manipulative. There is no religion that does not appeal to your gullibility. There's no religion that does not appeal to your fear. All of them do that. So the more you manipulate, some are less manipulative, some are more manipulative. Doesn't remove the fact that they are all manipulative. All of them will tell you, if you don't do this, you'll not make this heaven. If you don't do this one, you'll not do this. If you don't do this, you'll not do this. There's always a catch. Yes. It was good that the story. Hey, Tosin Olu, thank you for sending me $20. Yes. There's a story about this man. Yes, the story is not palatable. Yes. He had some bad sides. But I don't remember TB Joshua shouting and fighting people for Titan offering no. Do you know the kind of curses your pastor has put on my head? Why do you think when I'm driving now, in my 2023, hey, the oldest car in my house is 2022. I'm not talking about the ones that I drive to petrol station or around the area. The oldest. Meanwhile, now she, they say one pastor, sorry, not one pastor, my former pastor. He said, they should watch out for my life in the next four years. That was 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Look at my life now, my life then. Has it gone up or down? Explain it to me. And you are telling me that about TB Joshua. TB Joshua, call. The real devils, they walk up and down and they call them daddy in the Lord. The real, real, better, better devils. I sit down. They remove me from all the events. I don't need, need their events to eat now. One person called me the other day. They said, oh, Daddy Freeze, you want to do MC? I said, hey, no problem. I still do MC. My bill is 8 million naira. Lagos. 10 million naira outside Lagos. You better say, I say, ah, what did you think? You think I'll come and do your MC work for 500k? God forbid. No. Lagos, 8M. Outside Lagos, 10 million. You know, get, don't call my number. I don't need MC work to eat anymore. So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it grand style. I will get there like a masquerade. You will know you collected visitor. MC, where are the beg on for? We'll go put me for at least two days later and I go come out me. And tell me now. If I don't see that 8 million, inside my account, like he's sitting down, shining teeth like this. I know they go do any MC work. MC call. MMM. He jock, he jock about it right. Any day your money complete, call me. I will be there. And I'll give you my rider. That's when you know that we're not joking. Ah. 
at a point at a point there was there was nothing they blocked everywhere so my message will always be this everybody has their good side and everybody has their bad side uh, tb joshua did touch some lives he came from an ideology that is different from the ideology now do i support it no but personal my personal experience he was not as bad as the ones that are still there now those ones now god look at them chance <laughs> waiting day their mind to do me <laughs> ah 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 is it say person go by they pray to make i buy four years ago to make i broke no kind pray bad prayer they don't pray for me hey miss linda send me 50 dollars thank you so much oh you are appreciating my story <laughs> when i never see anything oh you marry hey my eyes saw when as in so take if i did remember um mixed emotions I they vex they sad I know even if you sell my money gone. Hey, if you are watching on TikTok, double click the screen. Make I sell them. I know get another work. Pastor, don't collect all the work from my hand. Now only money, now money gone. We did now they sell for Insta for TikTok. Double click the screen. Double click the screen. Double click it. Click it. Tap it like this. Ah, I saw Shege Pro Max. Tap it like this. Tap it like this. Say taste buds no leave me. But you see, eh, let me tell you something. When God get assignment for you, just trust them. He got you. Unless maybe God send you on the assignment. So that's why I always used to ask God, now you send me this assignment. <laughs> because if nobody God send me this assignment, uh, people will try and they don't lost. Do you know how many people call me and decided that if he's why are you risking your life fighting against God's generals? I say no go better for you and God general. Monico ni ya going at any at our general. Which generals or which god? Or oh, you mean devil general? Ta! You know my job money. Ah! Let me tell you, eh? Somebody said, Daddy Freeze, you, have, you should have outgrown showing off. How can I outgrow showing off when people still believe that my own will be bad? I go to the blog, sometimes they copy me, sometimes story about me or something. Somebody copies me. Ah, this daddy freeze, he will suffer, eh? When I see that, I will put my sixty thousand dollar watch and say, Look. <laughs> I will pull up. Ah. And I'm flying my business class. Anything they serve me, I will show you. If they serve me TV food, as they serve me one by one, I go on my camera for say, hey, you see, you. you prayed, you and your devilish Jews, prayed that I will suffer. Show you into dancing. And you are telling me TB Joshua. I'm not saying TB Joshua was a good person. But I'm saying, he, like all of us, he had a good side too. I don't believe in that he's selling water and all those things. Well, is T.B. Joshua the only person selling water? The ones that are not selling water are selling armband. You see somebody put a picture of Gio on her door. So what's the difference? T.B. Joshua on a water. Your own Gio on a handband. You'll be hearing testimony. Say so you were driving. They were driving. And then as you were driving, arm robber came. 
Then they saw your arm band, then they fainted, then you drove away. They all do it. Meanwhile, the police, they got them. Some of them are selling Goya oil. One person did it to taste buds. He preached one fire message. Now, so taste buds, get up, pay 500,000 to wear in jacket. They wear my jacket. Anybody that can bring 500,000, wear my jacket, my anointed jacket. Now, so taste buds, run, go stage. Wear daddy jacket, where they pray for him. Very soon you run out of Goya and I go begin to say Pamoye. Nothing with them. They sold all these things now. They sold all these things. Ah. Any small thing like this, you get winch, you get this, miracle this, miracle that. I've told you, stop looking for miracles. My message to you this year, miracle don't exist. Go and walk. Be like the Chinese. They are Nigeria's miracle. Now them, they bail us. She paid that year. I paid stupid money for religious things too. Nothing where we don't put head inside though. All of you who have never fallen victim, just thank God. When I get luck, me, I don't fall victim where well, where. Well. I saw one pastor pray for me, pray for me, pray for me. Say, taste buds now, winch. Now he's saying, see, I'm inside bull, they swim. Ah. I say, I'm going to be alone. So you can go bring 200,000, make them pray for me. That year, dollar was like 160 naira. So, so I brought like $1,200. That year money. I don't quickly count and come. They say strong seed. Now I pray, pray, pray. Now the pastor hold my hand. Rebete, rabata, skerebe, skaraba, olosho, sanusi, ashawo, allen, rege, baba, chere, shere, re, 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 re. Now I pray for me, finish. She come, they ask me how will they go. I come, they call the pastor. They tell her, say, they pray, you know. On one day, the pastor just call me again, say another seed now i look and say ah if i'm a jemmy my mook or so genie i don't wake up say ah dangerous seed i say ah see that we move god making god look very broke and hungry Someone said, has any pastor ever tried to sleep with your wife? She will tell you that story by herself. Enough. He always starts with, let me pray with you, let me pray with you, let me pray with you. You are so beautiful, you are so beautiful. If she begin to tell you her story, eh? But it's her story to tell, not mine. And I'm glad to God that she was wise enough to quickly understand that. Ah, Nobody, as in... Let me tell you something. I did not call anybody to wish anybody Merry Christmas this year. My parents are angry with me. Everybody is angry with me. I say, good, you continue to be angry. I have a message. I cannot continue fighting against... Because it starts with Merry Christmas. You believe Jesus died on Christmas Day. Now, where do you think they start with that? Jesus loves you. Jesus, Jesus, when both people, God, won't come save you, black man. Your head is correct. When both people God never save them, finish now. You in one can't save Mutu. When both people can't save Mutu. When both people God one can't save Ejiro. And you believe him? When both people God one can't save Unwachuku. Kayode. Now when both people God we can't save. You self not get sense. Anything where you see inside church, good for you. Someone said they're born on Christmas Day. Every God except Christ was born on Christmas Day. All the idolatry gods. Now that side, that time they born them. 
Let me tell you what Christmas signifies. 30 December. One of them will come bench. Do all sorts of revelry. Drink the, all the fake alcohol. Wait till Lagos finish. Go America. Go back. Go they stick your sick. I don't call. If you call me, greet me Christmas. I don't go outside you. Nothing. I, I don't believe in it. And anything that has religious undertones, I'm here to eradicate it. Africa does not need it. Look at our country. Any good thing is God. Any bad thing is the devil. Which one you do? You. What are you responsible for? Full grown man. We get block us. Any bad thing is devil. Ah, devil wants to spoil this. Devil wants to, but God did not agree. Devil with the heaven with God. Now you think you get time to the worry Nigerians. Go and read Revelation at the end of the time. The Bible says, and there was war in heaven. Revelation chapter 6. Read from verse 7. And Satan was kicked out at the end times. So if Satan was kicked out of heaven at the end times, where is he today? Answer the question with your sense. Now so one church, do, 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 do. They say they don't buy devil. That's why I sit down, they look, they say, eh, we'll not buy devil. They say they don't buy devil. I say, ah, go oh So, who will come start the war for heaven at the end time? Devil go resurrect. And, I say, why don't they teach these foolish doctrines? Who know they think? Who know they think? Jesus, who they white, devil, they black. You never see those books. Black man, you see, you know when they don't enter inside your small brain. They say make you paint God, you paint and white. They say make you paint devil, you paint and black. Devil look like you, God look like them. Ah, I ye into budget. I ye into budget. So that's my own take. Oh, I don't talk my own. Finish. Nothing more to talk. Let me open my phone lines. Make make I carry one or two calls. In the meantime, if you are enjoying, double click the screen. Pop my money guns. Follow my number one gifter on TikTok. TikTok people. Follow my number one gifter on TikTok. Let me see who I will bring here to come and share their story. Are they don't care? Oh, yeah, my boy. King Star just popped the money gun. King Sylvester just popped one money gun. Adventures of Chris, two money guns. Ashu Devav. Ashu one. Well, pop one money gone. How are you doing? How are you today? Very well, thank you. I've been enjoying the stuff, man. Ah. But you see that time when they show you when you they challenge our GUs. Mm. But you for tell our your your followers now. Maybe we know what eating you they face that time now. I, I talk and small, but everybody was saying good for you, good for you, good for you. Nobody you go touch and No, no, no. Some of us were really like, you know, we yeah, we, we didn't yeah, know the extent. I actually did say, but some of us helped. Some some people helped, and some people actually laughed at me. Some of us saw, because some of us saw light from that time, and I'm telling you, some of us realized that, yes, we've been practicing religion wrongly that time. Hmm. You understand? So you impacted a lot of people, because you see, the way we practice religion in Nigeria hmm. and the way we were brought up, our parents, they, they've taught us in such a way that we don't really even have the gut or the authority to even question these people's authority at all. Hmm. We were not even raised to ask questions. Hmm. We, we, oh, boy, monkey, why you go challenge your pastor? Who you be? Who you be? Who you be, by, uh, uh, pastor? Uh, where, where pastor go talk? Where you go challenge him? You see all these all these girls coming out lately saying they were you know they molest them they do this they do that. Mm -hmm. You see some of these parents were already reported to. These kids have reported, but the mothers will say shut up, no let me hear that again. Mm. They we've given so much respect that in fact you see I, I they tell my friend I say they blind Jesus may may they label them this is Master Jesus bros J now you sit down like this come put our pastors we go vote for our pastors most of us. Mm. Manipulations. You see, most of these pastors turn into monsters. I can bet you we turn them to monsters, and I will tell you why. Mm. We worship them too much. 
We oh, worship so them too much. I'm telling you, we worship them too much. It's just too much. You dare not challenge their authority. Hmm. Yes, I saw the bad part of um, um, uh, no. Pastor uh, um, Joshua. I read it. I, I saw most of the videos and everything. Just like he said, yes, he had a horrible side, right? But you see that that good side of his, of that man, where he was feeding the nation, sorting a lot of families, building houses, doing this for society, helping the less privileged and all that stuff, really overshadowed the bad side. It, you know, that was why he was able to, you know, get away with murder for a long time. Mm, mm, mm. You understand? But like you said, most of these things are still being practiced differently minutes? by these so-called pastors, even as we speak. Okay, just wait for me 15 minutes. It's still mm. ongoing. It's not going to stop until people wake up. It's never going to stop. Mm. I have a family friend. I'm not sure she's on this um, life at the moment. There was a pastor that came from Nigeria. I, I will tell you, I, I will inbox you the name. Maybe you know something about that person because there's so much, you know, the way he was rated. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he was, he was seeing visions. And they would tell me, oh my God, he saw he, what he told them was right. Oh, you have to come. Then I went. Mm -hmm. I went. Daddy Freeze, this is not a dog. My friend should be on life. And she's not there. I will tag her now. She, my friend and her husband and the children, they love this man. I went after work that day. I traveled all the way from Croydon to to uh, Oval to go and see this person. That is good evening. Good evening, my <laughs> sister. How are you doing? Continue your story. I'm fine. Good evening, man. Good evening, man. Good evening, man. How are you, my sister? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Do you know that after he saw visions to everybody, he saw them one by I won, the PA was taking them inside. I was the last person and it was getting so dark that, that time. It was winter period. He didn't attend to me. He just the, the PA kept saying to me, Daddy will attend to you. Just just few minutes. Just few minutes. Until he attended to everybody and they all left. He can't remain you and then daddy. daddy wanted to the daddy wanted to see me. Daddy asked me to sit down. The first three three whatever visions he saw were wrong, but I was playing along. I didn't say it was wrong. Mm. Then he held my hands. So where are you? Where are you going tonight? I'm like, where am I going tonight? He told me the hotel he was lodging. He told me if I want to go out, he told me he can help me, but I, I may need to move to Nigeria where he can help me really, really, if I really need help. I'm like, what help? He's telling me that my, my glory is not coming out here. If I come to Nigeria, I will see how he's going to blow me up seriously. When I'm not, a, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a pastor. Why do you want to help my life? <laughs> but mm. what I'm saying is, when I, I said this to my friend, my family friend, they did not believe me. I'm telling you, we, almost, we fell out on this. They did not believe me until this man ran away with the, some of their money in this place. The church he came to start here and he, he, he ran away. They didn't pay, pay for the place. When they all paid him, this guy disappeared. And he's still an existing pastor, a big pastor in Nigeria. Mm. I am telling you. Mm. So I have seen, uh, when, if you see, I, I put a comment there. I said I've been a serial victim of these pastors, but I won't say a, a victim because I know too, they, uh, I'm not really on that dark side of falling, you know, for every, every gimme, you know, all this rubbish they bring up. I have been told a lot of things in the past. Oh, they will see vision. They will tell me to bring this, bring that. But me, I'm not that kind of person. Mm -hmm. I'm not even that too religious for me to be running after any vision anywhere. So that's why I'm not really falling, you know, victim as in paying them or anything. Do you see? So the point with Pastor Joshua, let's go back to our topic is, he, 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 the good side of him was exactly what Nigerians needed. We just need, you see, when you're, when your enemy, they are telling you not to die, not to dine with your enemy, but your friends are not offering you food. Hmm. Your friend no buy gas. He no buy pepper. Doesn't mean hmm. you no collect rice and chicken from your enemy. He won't buy. <laughs> No, we will talk now. Who won't buy? Because the, some of these things, people even saw most of these things. You see, this case of Pastor Joshua had been, even before I left secondary school, had been. There was a time he was having all these bogus miracles of, you know, somebody getting pregnant in a, or in a day, and somebody, all these stupid miracles have been. People were still rushing there because there are some other things they gain as well, like mm. food. 
they go away with money now. They show them and tell you, hey, you know, it's been years. Mm -hmm. As we are speaking right now, Daddy Freeze, if you live in Ibado, uh, Guru Maharaj is still there and people are still going there. That's why all the atrocities that were, that were busted there. Because some people are still feeding from him. They won't leave. Because you are telling me not to go to, to dine with the devil, but you, the angel, you are not offering me anything. Hmm. I would rather dine with them. So this man, when people are saying, I understand your own plight when you, when you said, oh, you, you, you prefer him. Yes, because he was there for people. He has his own bad side. But you see, all these are our bogus pastors. They are still reigning right now. They are doing worse things mm -hmm. than this man. They are still doing worse things than this man because they are killing a lot of people. Oh, sorry. They are buying a lot of people silently in their actions. Mm -hmm. You step on their shoes, you are losing your job. You step on your shoe on their shoes, they are blocking your, your way, your ways of livelihood. They Look at what me. they did to you. What is what is that? What is the difference in that man, the way he was operating and the way they operated with you? What is the difference? Hmm. Anybody taking anybody's livelihood, showing power, you know, that is you are buying the person invariably. So these things have always been. You see, most of all these bogus pastors they are still parading themselves. We see all these miracles. Some of us, we are, we are, we have it up here. We are not slavery. We are not slaves to what all these stupid miracles they perform here and there. I've been in a church mm -hmm. where, make I know I mentioned your big pastors from Nigeria where we were invited to this crusade where I attend from you for UK. Where the anointing hall. They told us you are bringing one thousand pounds. The next day, they gave all of us envelope. I don't want to mention names. Now, big, big people, the, if you bring 1,000, the bigger pastor will lay hands. If you bring 500, the madam, the younger pastor, madam for your Nigeria, the madam F, I don't go mention name. Really? But yes, madam go lay hands. If you bring anything less, now all our pastors go lay hands. And if you bring anything less than 100 pounds, now inside basket, you go, go through them. Mm. <laughs> now, general prayer, you get with that. So this is have always been it is still existing but our people we are just you see this slavery thing is just part of us now not all of us but at least 60 percent of people are still they are still in that box that slavery box of anything these people say despite the fact that we are seeing their lifestyles their lifestyle is not even it does not even coherent with what they are preaching with what we know that the bible is even telling us we are not even listening to the bible anymore I saw an illustration online, um, Daddy Freeze, where mm. the person was showing people entering the church, uploading their brain, putting it in the basket, and going there with empty brain. So when they are coming back, they start <laughs> taking it back. Which is saying, the moment they are in the church, they don't use their brain, anything. Anything the pastor says is okay. Hmm. So yes, TB ad is bad side. And for people who are saying, why well, did they wait for him to buy before they start all this? This documentary have been, they, let me tell you, they have been doing it since. They're the silent people, and they tell you. If you remember Kola Ola Uyi, for your state, BCOS, whatever, the man don't start this program. Oh, at this mm -hmm. secondary school, this, this, this man don't start this program. Oh, then they know they let them go for that. Then they didn't know they see daylight when they start. So many documentaries that started since those years. Hmm. But they don't they, do you know how many governors wanted to remove Guru Maharaj from 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 for that place where you did for Ibadan? Hmm. They're not fit. They're not their fit. So if the if the guy can't buy now, then come bring all the documentary. People go come and say, why you wait for him to die? You get God when they are alive. You wait get stamina. You don't know as they shake you because you even challenge them over tight alone. Just fight. Huh. You wait get liver. You wait get backbone small. You wait get enlightened. You wait get people. We you you wait know what you they do. You you ask one question. You know that your one question of tightening. Do you know how much it shook the nation? Mm, mm, do you mm, know? Mm. How much it shook the nation that time? If you don't know, maybe you go and do this or be and let people tell you. That thing caught one quarter of people paying useless tithes to churches. Mm. Make I it allow my joke. sister. Make we even hear this, my sister. I'm so sorry because time don't go. Pop my money gone. Follow my number one gifter. TikTok well, people. That is oh, free, so. Mommy, what I want to say is, did you guys actually believe all those stories, those interviews that they grant yes. those people? Yes. I personally believe, yes. Me, I don't believe all of them. Me, I think there'll be some element of...
of truth somewhere. Yeah, 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 truth. Yes, that is yes. exactly. But I don't believe all all of them. You know why? I you think, know why I I can believe it because these people they have been with him for years, though. And but you know, so what? Then just coming. She said at the end of the day. Is more story than evidence. But like I said, mm, the the day, if a lot of people come together and say the same thing, truth go day there. We know if you hide Yes, that I believe, yes, that exactly. I believe some truth. Daddy Freeze, let me no. play devil's advocate here with my sister that you don't believe, yes. So maybe what if they just because it's so it's so it's so it's so in fact I don't even want to because I respect to be Joshua a lot as well. So for me, it was very shocking hearing all this stuff going on for like days but what now. If, what if they are just trying, just because the woman took over, they just wanted to bring the place down? It might be as well. Yeah, that is what I'm thinking. That was that, that was that was what I told I one of my that. girlfriend that I think they just want to bring this my image down. You understand? Yes, I thought it was because because to speak up. All this yes. why? Yes. That because I'm thinking when they brought the wife to come and be the, you know, the overall overseer. Overall, now, and yeah. I'm thinking a lot of people will fall out because of that. They won't like his ideas and they won't want to bow down for her as well. They won't want to work mm -hmm. under her. So they will mm -hmm. do anything as well. So I thought of that as well. It might be. Maybe there is just all propaganda just to pull the church down. I don't just know that I, I don't just know why I'm not just hundred percent convinced about all the inter, um, interview that those people give. You understand? There is a truth inside, but I just think part of it want to you know I'm not I'm not in supporting any in that. In fact, when it comes to religion, I don't go to church. I don't. I just read my Bible in my house, pray to my God. That's what I believe. You understand? So I just think part of it is not just 100% true. I just think they want to bring Pastor T.B. Joshua name, the church. They just want to downgrade the church a little bit. You understand? Because I don't know, I don't know why. My instinct just tell me that not everything that is true. I don't know. You know? I don't just know. Even the, how this pastor said, uh, that Nigerian, that if it, do you know I missed, uh, uh, I missed uh, that lady. I actually saw it come across, it's not yesterday evening on, on the blog, you know, saying she was saying all sorts of rubbish that you need deliverance, you need this one, you're taking people. I say, uh, uh, they drag daddy freeze. Person we know well. Person, I'm not that ask you. I say, are you serious? Huh. Not be one pastor tell me say make her they bring daddy freeze make her they bring my I, I just I think I just started going to that church I think it was uh, just two, uh, two months and he told me that um, I should I should be bringing uh, uh, half, uh, part of my salary for the tithe so that goodness and mercy will rain upon me. Huh. To the extent he told me that uh, I should stop wearing black and black, my favorite color. That uh, is not <laughs> it's not going to be bringing good luck to me. I should stop wearing black. You understand? Okay. Somebody know. like Pastor uh, Daddy Freeze is too brilliant. Is she is too knowledgeable for what we need in Nigeria in Christian folds because we are used to our lies. We are used to just saying amen thank you daddy thank god even if the pastor is reading it he's reversing the bible we are used to anything the pastor say amen hallelujah i receive i take <laughs> but they don't want somebody like pastor um, daddy freeze who will sit down and digest it because, and do, you know why? do you know why mommy because daddy freeze will always eat the meal and at the right place so oh, and it's the truth it's yes, it's true. when I started listening to Daddy Freeze, he, he confused me a bit. I'm like, is this guy Antichrist? Then with time, I started listening, I started checking my Bible, I started seeing what he was talking to. Then I would sit down and I would be like, is the truth. truth. Is you the know, truth. everything it like that in Nigeria, everything the pastors, they are doing, the most biggest problem we Africans have today, number one problem, is pastors that we have. And Daddy, Daddy Freeze said the right thing. I'm not saying all of them are bad. They are good ones, but I think 80%. But do you realize that we encourage them as well? We help them build their 
Even yes, ca- even cast because you don't challenge. Uh, you don't yes. ask questions. It's been wonderful hanging out with you guys. I'm gonna come back a little later. Wifey needs me to do something. Um, lovely talking to you, my beautiful ladies. Ron Daddy Claire. Prince, for us to know why if they call you, no one will be no, I beg. No, Bye-bye. no, no be that kind one. No, Daddy Prince, somewhere. don't repent this year. Oh. One drive Daddy Prince, don't repent this year. Don't worry. Daddy Prince, Francesca no one will be no. no, 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 no. <laughs> Francesca say, ah. I know if you do. So, make one of the rest, make one of not worry. Ah, I wish I was in the no, world. We have to look for who to test them on top. <laughs> ah, that is free. I beg, I beg, I beg. Thank God I'm no longer in the world. You should thank God for my life. Oh. For they look for where to test them to show <laughs> you. No, no, no. The problem is saying, I'm not, I'm not taste, but I'm not going to kill you down. No. That is free. Ah. You know, you get where I'm going to read that. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Guys. So, that is free. Okay, maybe when you come back to life later. Let me come back. We'll continue our conversation. All right, then. God all right, bless you guys. Thank you, thank you all so much. Yeah, thank you. I'll all see right. you later. All right. Good night, ma'am. Right, okay. Then. Bye.